it's nice being back in Dallas. The last week I was on the road, probably the most humid and hot it's been since I moved here. So I kind of getting a preview of what the summers are going to be like. A little afraid, not going to lie. But I think today's going to be a good day. You know, what? one place I really miss that I used to go to all the time is the Philippines. Haven't been there in obviously such a long time. That's why I keep seeking out Filipino food. And today I think I'm going to feel a little better because I found a place that actually cook entire roast pig lechons the old fashioned way. I called them. The pigs won't be done for another few hours. So first some breakfast. Huh, new flavor, birthday cake. I'm eating this with banana milk because I kind of miss it. Note to self, the banana milk they sell from the local Kroger, really nothing like the banana milk you get in Korea and Japan. This cereal flavor though is awesome. I told you guys, I'm obsessed with cereal, always have been. To this day, I will not walk down the cereal aisle of a grocery store just so I don't tempt myself. They're all like sirens singing out at me. I first found out about Magic Spoon when I was actually Googling high protein cereal or healthy cereal on the internet and this popped up. They happened to reach out to me around the same time. They sent me a bunch to try, loved it. And now this is something I'll typically eat either for breakfast or a dinner meal replacement instead of my typical protein powder. And this thing, zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, four grams net carbs, and 140 calories per serving. It's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free, and also if you're on the keto diet, this is keto friendly. There's awesome flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosty, blueberry, cinnamon, peanut butter, and now, for a limited time, birthday cake. So this is a limited edition flavor and they're putting this in a special five pack on top of the other four flavors. They actually made this last year on Magic Spoon's birthday and it was a huge hit. So they're bringing it back and of course, limited quality. So if you wanna try it out, go to the link down below and get the birthday cake limited edition five pack and use my promo code Mikey Chen to get $5 off your order. Or you can just build your own box from their other flavors. And what I love about Magic Spoon is they have a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for whatever reason, you get your money back. I want to eat enough so I'm at the perfect peak hungerness for a chai. You know how like when you get too hungry, you're not hungry anymore? It's an artful balance. And I'm pretty sure I mastered it. So this is only once a week. That's Josephine, by the way. <laughs> I'm so excited whenever I can try Filipino food. I'm so excited. Take your time. Take your time. I'm gonna just uh, hang out. I have everything You do? Yeah. Except for the lechon, right? Okay, my goal is to try everything you, you, you made today. You can have it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Smoke is coming from the from the three lechons that's roasting over there. I couldn't be more excited. Like I am just, I'm smelling this. The anticipation is getting me. I, I got butterflies in my stomach, I, I do. I haven't seen pigs are roasting on a bamboo skewer since the last time I was in the Philippines. Of course, any Filipino place wouldn't be complete without karaoke. Will the kids call it now? Raise, is it still raise the roof? Is the roof not being raised anymore nowadays? I, I don't know. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, baby. Look at this. Fresh off the grill. Oh. Heck yes, all day and all night long. Mmm. Mmm. Nice little char on the outside. Sweet, savory. This was not the pork that I was most excited about today, but OMG on this. We're gonna never have Filipino food. Right? Really good. I like the char. Mm. Too. All right, time to load up on dishes and, and give everything a taste. What's really cool is that I'm like surrounded by local Filipino people. Like this is, everybody around me is Filipino. If you wanna go to a place that serves really good food from a particular country, you wanna be surrounded by people from that country. This is what I'm most excited about. Lechon chopped up. I gotta taste this right away before it sits and gets colder in the Texas sun. That's right, it's cold today in Texas. Cold and windy. Lechon, 
flavor is really good. What's kind of really special about this pig is that they stuff herbs and vegetables and all these great seasoning inside the pig as well. So as it's cooking, the aroma, the flavor kind of, kind of expands from inside the pig. And that is definitely what happened here. Mm. Pork is tender, you taste the ginger, you taste the herbs. Such a nice aroma when you're biting through the meat. The only thing I wish it would have had was crispy skin. I remember having a lechon in the Philippines. That was my favorite part. Just a crispy, like a, a little porky potato chip isk skin. Maybe if I got this like right off the fire, it would have been much crispier. But still, meat is tender, flavor is good. I'm happy. I love macro. Love macro. Highly recommend the macro. I try to get this baby fresh off the grill. Love the char of the fish. Macro fish is one of my favorite things in the world. And this thing not only has that nice bitter flavor from the char and the fire, there's onions and tomatoes and green pepper on top. Adds a little sweetness, adds a little kick. I really like this. The tomatoes, onions, green pepper, magical touch. The sweetness, the crunch, the kick it adds to the fish, perfect compliment. All right, this is the crown jewel. I had one of these earlier, so I had to get two more skewers. One of my favorite things. You dip it in a little vinegar sauce. Hundred thousand percent must try. Gorgeously charred on the outside, but so tender. Come here with your friends, order 10 of these each. This thing is one of my absolute favorite things on the planet. This is pig Esau or pig intestine. I know Texas this is the land of barbecue. I'm telling you, Texas, you gotta add this to your menu. So toasty, so soft, a little bit of funk. Oh. Intestines, both pork and chicken. Some of my favorite things in the Filipino food world. Mm. Right? Oh That's really good. Just like the 60s, the funk is part of the fun. Skewers, one of the best I had anywhere. Really good. Now I got a little bit of each of the dishes. And this is like some sort of shrimp dish with bamboo. I forgot what this is called. They told me like six times. <laughs> and I didn't want to be like more of an idiot. Like, sorry, what was that? I'm really bad with names and pronunciations. Mmm. It's peppery, coconutty. Mmm. So fragrant. Right? Yep, I've never had a dumpling soup though from the Philippines. Mmm, that was a good dumpling. Now I wish I had hot oil or vinegar. I'm trying to move through these dishes kind of quick because it's cold. And the wind's blowing, everything is like cooling down, which is such a disservice to these wonderful dishes. I think this is some sort of pork and chili oil. I love everything this woman cooks. I need like some Filipino mom to just adopt me. So I can go to her house every day and just eat stuff like this. Mm. Wow. This is pork and shrimp sauce. This is amazing. This is so good with rice. This is definitely in Chinese what we call xiao fan cai. Mmm. The spicy coconutty and the shrimp paste is so good. This thing I haven't seen since I left the Philippines. I didn't think I would see it in this part of the world. This is dinaguan. This is uh, basically a blood stew and it has all the innards from the pig. This is something that I ate in the Philippines that I actually really enjoy, but I'm not much of a blood person. So this might be one of my favorite things here today. Wow, this is good. The reason I love this is because there's tons of vinegar in here. So you really don't taste any of the gaminess from the organs. Mm. It's meaty, it's thick, it goes perfect with rice. Mind blown by how good this is. This is the goat dish that's from uh, Josephine's hometown. Mmm. Oh, that's so good too. That's so good. Wow, flavor is incredibly rich and deep. It's spicy, you taste the ginger, it's aromatic. Josephine is a fantastic cook. Maybe she can adopt me. Highly recommend you get this when you come here. I thought this was like fat before, but no, this is potatoes. Potatoes or sweet potatoes inside spicy oil. When you come here, just do what I, I did, which was I asked him for a little bit of everything. Do that. Wow, that gold and that blush too. Stop eating this, I cannot. Mm. 
this is a great place. I will be coming back. I think my favorite, skewers, the blush stew, the goat dish, and the fish. Those are my favorites, like top of the list, but everything is good here. This is a really good place. <laughs> I'm glad we came here. Mm. Gotta focus on eating before everything turns super cold. All right, when I eat Filipino food, if I don't have seasick, I just feel like the day is just not complete. So, taste of the Philippines. I like my seasick and I want a sizzling. There's nothing like the entrance of a sizzling seasick. Nothing. I can already smell the vinegar in here. I love watching the egg just flowing through the meat. And this thing is definitely a sizzling. It's a really big plate as well. Beautiful color. Meat looks like the bottom parts are having a great char. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, -hmm -hmm. that's a good seasick. We should put Brenda as a special food correspondent. Now going to Brenda to see what she thinks for the first time. Back to you, Mike. Mmm, this one has way more vinegar than the ones I had before. I love it. Anything with vinegar, I'm a huge fan of. Nice, crunchy, and chewy pig parts. I think this seasick especially goes so well with rice. Also, green pepper is usually something that's not something you find here, but adds a nice crispy, smoky flavor. I really like this. It's really good. Now my Filipino food day is complete. Mm. Actually, one more thing. It's really hard to mix this when it's overflowing. It's gonna have to start eating it and then mixing it. Mm. Now my day's sort of complete. <clears throat> uh, uh, until dinner. All right, lunch number three? Three, I think. This place is, uh, I don't know what, what to make of it because it's really popular. A lot of people love it. They serve, <laughs> this is a burrito. A pho burrito. A burrito. Looks really good. It smells really good. So inside you got hoisin sauce, sriracha, meat, the noodles, which are looking all sauteed and nice. Some sprouts included as well. All right, this one, I didn't really realize how big it was. Look at this. This is a bami. Doesn't look like a bami. This looks like a bami ate a bami that ate another bami. Sauce, a gooey egg on top that looks like it's about to run even without me poking it. It looks like barbecue pork or something. It's all sitting on this baguette that doesn't even look like it, it fits in this baguette and then i got the angry pho i feel the heat i feel the anger i feel this thing glaring at me from across the table this thing is super spicy apparently onions bits of meat on top beef balls and fun noodles it all looks like it's it's just inside this volcano like broth all right first thing gotta try this burrito it looks like a ginormous egg roll and it's surprisingly light And it's surprisingly delicious. I gotta say, this is pretty good. First of all, the outside shell is so thin, so it's not doughy at all. You got a nice crunch from the sprouts, the jalapenos. The noodles are nice and seasoned. You get a great heat from the sriracha. Tastes like a giant pho burrito or pho egg roll. Really spicy, by the way. Not bad at all. I'm gonna chase it with some angry pho. The burrito is spicier than this pho. Not bad. Could use some more sriracha on this. Look at this. This is something crazy. Ginormous looking bami. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm trying to not let it leak down the side, and I failed to do that. I think this is roast. Oh, I, no, this is not pork. This Fried chicken inside, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fried chicken. This might be the best thing I had here. Mmm. The fried chicken itself is great. But that's amazing. And the combination of the ingredients is spectacular. It's creamy, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's spicy. Also, it's the flavors attacking your tongue. 
best thing here. Fried chicken, a little sweet, very tender. And it just goes so well with this whole ensemble cast of ingredients. These two items actually go so well with the pho. The burrito is really spicy, this one. It's spicy, but also a little sour from the, from the pickles they have in here. Great compliments to this bowl of noodle soup. So far, I've tried many variations of pho fusion stuff. I had the pho fries and now the burrito. Conclusion is, anything as long as it has pho inside, it's gonna be good. I also appreciate it very much, this place that's outdoor dining. It's a windy day and I really didn't feel like eating a, on the hood of my car again, have my pho flying in my face. Still have some of the burrito left. Mm. Overall, really good place. And as much as I love the traditional versions of all these dishes, this is a pretty fun and delicious example of fusion done right. The only thing left to do with this is to dunk the burrito into the angry pho. You know, sacrifice it to the angry pho volcano lake or whatever this is. That might be the best way to eat this. That is the best way to eat this. Try it like that when you come here. Mm. All right, definitely need a little nap break after this. My floor couch came in. Ugh. This is the best thing to nap on. For dinner, welcome to Chicken Butthole. Literally. All right, got a couple of dishes for Brendan and I. The kimchi fried rice. Yeah, I think I saw this somewhere. Anytime there's like an eggy river or an eggy lake, I'm a big fan of it. So as you can see, the little molt of egg is cooking with a perfectly poached egg on top sitting on kimchi fried rice. And this is stir fried chicken and cheese. Ah, oh, when I miss Korea, I just go somewhere where they just douse anything and everything in cheese. I like this place already. I like the size of the tea here. Whew. That's... A Texas-sized cup of tea. Anytime you go to a chicken place and they have corn and cheese, you know where you're at. Oh yeah, stir-fried chicken. Roll it around in some cheese. Put that on my fried rice. That's delicious. Ooh, that's a lot of cheese. The key to this dish is you gotta eat everything quick. The cheese is gonna get hard, it's gonna get cold. Once the fire stops, everything's gotta be in your belly. Mm. Yo, the kimchi fried rice is so good. Have you tried this? So this is basically like a like an egg fried rice. Wow. No, take a bite of that. Right? That's really good. When you come here and get the kimchi fried rice, if they ask you if you want it with eggs or cheese, just say, yes, you want both. And trust me, you want both. Mmm. That's so good. That's so good. Kimchi is amazing. You taste the seaweed, the soft eggs. Amazing. I like that better than the chicken. And I really like the chicken. Get some chicken and corn and put it on top of my fried rice. I'd highly recommend that when you come here. I mean, the cheese and chicken is a must get, but 100% get the kimchi fried rice. So the cheese that's on the bottom right now kind of got seared a little bit. Wrap that around your spoon. Take some fried rice for the ride. Mm. And also don't forget about crispy rice at the bottom of this pan. If you can get, get your hands on some of this stuff, stuff that would probably otherwise be thrown away into the dishwasher, this is the best stuff. That is 100% the best part of the fried rice. They told me that their signature dish is actually the one with the fried chicken and the fries, and you wrap the cheese around it. When you wrap the cheese around the chicken, it kind of makes it look like a fried chicken Christmas tree with all the ornaments and lights surrounding it. This is insane, like. This is just pure excess. <laughs> and decadence. And I love it. Korean fried chicken, it's just better when you wrap cheese around it. I do wish it's kind of spicier. So, dip my cheese wrapped chicken in this other chicken sauce.
That is the stuff. I love it when foods just work together to make themselves better. There are a lot of life lessons we can learn from food. So this is their seafood pancake. Look at this. Egg in the center, just like the sun. Like a sun radiating light and delicious ingredients all around it. Scallions everywhere. There's also like a crab leg meat, little bits of shrimp. This is probably the most unique seafood pancake I've had. I've never seen so much stuff crammed into a seafood pancake. And also, what I like about this is it's not gooey. I don't. I hate gooey pancakes. I like it when it's a nice, crispy outer crust, which just is tons of scallions, tons of seafood. That's a really good pancake. It'd be better if there's some hot oil I could get around here to dip it in, but this is a really good pancake. We did go a little excessive today. We were only supposed to come here and get two dishes, but they told us we got the wrong signature dish, so we had to get that. They didn't tell us the seafood pancake is something we can't miss. And when someone tells me that, like I can't miss something, I don't want to miss it. Luckily, Brenda has family nearby, so we're going to take all the stuff while it's still piping hot, go over there, and continue the feast. I feel like we ate a lot of this already. We did pretty well. We finished the kimchi fried rice. We almost finished the stir fried chicken with cheese. We pretty much finished that. Just don't know how much cheese I want in my stomach. That's the only thing. All right, but this was an awesome food that I love it when I can come into an establishment and they give me stuff that I didn't know I wanted. It's like a restaurant genie who can kind of see into your food loving soul. And as always guys, all the places I went to, listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching until we eat again. See you later.